It's a special weekend here in Little Tokyo, the seventh annual Delicious Little Tokyo event. This event is put on by the Little Tokyo Community Council as a way to celebrate and learn about the rich culinary and cultural history of this neighborhood. This is a two-day event full of food tours, workshops, demos, and other activities. It's taking place in June 25th and 26th of 2022, and it's my first time here, so I'm not sure if it takes place in June every year, but you can go to the Little Tokyo Community Council's website or Go Little Tokyo on Instagram has all the information. That's actually how I found out about it last year, but I found out about it just a little too late to actually go. So I made sure to keep up with them on Instagram and that's how I found out <laughs> when to get tickets for this year. As you can tell by the title of the video, the events that I'll be taking part in today are some of the self-guided walking food tours. And I'm actually signed up for two because I couldn't just choose one. Um, they had just so happened to be on the same day, but that's okay. I got here early, I'm gonna go do one, <laughs> take a walk, digest, and then come back for round two. The two food tours that I decided to do today are the J-Town Treats and Eats tour and the Matcha Mania tour. And I'm gonna put the matcha one in a second video in a part two, just so that this doesn't get too long. So please make sure to join me for that one as well. I'll put the link in the description. Well, I think that's enough of an intro. Let's get to the food tour. I'm so excited. I'm excited to try new foods, new restaurants in the little Tokyo area. So I'm gonna go get checked in and I'll see you on the tour. Okay, so we're all checked in for the first food tour. Here's all the goodies I got when I checked in this adorable little Tokyo tote bag and enamel pin. And there were a few to choose from. It was such a hard decision. They were all so cute. Got a badge showing we're on the tour. And here's the map. We'll be following the blue numbers. So we're gonna head to number one first, which is so happens to be very close by at the Japanese American National Museum. We have milk plus tea, um, boba. It's, I think, some kind of pineapple green tea mixture. So let's give it a try. Got a cool jar here and a bamboo straw. Mm. Very good. Can't tell if that's a jelly or pieces of pineapple. It's not quite as jelly as I thought it would be, but um, yeah, so far so good. from Rakan Ramen. Don't know if I'm saying that right, but we're trying. Let's get some sauce. There's some sauce and a lemon slice in here. Get some of the dipping sauce. Beautiful fried gyoza. Gonna be so much more delicious than the frozen ones I make at home. Mm. Very good. The third stop is not a food stop. It is a gift shop. Bunkadoo. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's one of the oldest shops in Little Tokyo and I'm gonna head in there right now and get my chopsticks. Okay, so I got my stops mixed up. Bunkado is not where we're getting chopsticks, it's where we're getting these adorable chopstick rests instead and that stops actually later in the tour, but look at this cute little cat guy. was Okayama Kobo, which is a cafe bakery inside the Miyako Hotel, and we got these adorable bear pastries. I think there's probably a filling in here. I'm not sure what it is, so let's try it out. Look how cute it is. I'm gonna eat his ear. <laughs> mm. There's like um, a vanilla custard inside. Very good. Okay, so I'm gonna keep eating this bear, but the next stop is all the way over in Weller Court, so we are gonna walk over there and see what's up next. Next we have Salmon Yuzu Miso Onigiri, which I'm really excited about. A little bit fancier than the uh, prepackaged ones. Mm. Uh, really, really good. 
There's lots of delicious salmon filling for kake all over the outside. Seaweed's a little bit um, not crunchy anymore, but you know what? Tastes really good, so I'm happy with it. So the weather court area is really hopping today. There's some sort of craft fair or something going on. I don't know if you can hear the music behind me, but we're heading to the next stop now, which is in the Japanese Village Plaza, the main area of Little Tokyo, and it's at Cafe Dolce. the last food stop of the day and I got a what they're calling a sausage donut <laughs> it looks like a hot dog wrapped in some kind of pastry they asked if I wanted spicy mustard and I said no because I'm not a mustard fan but I hope that I didn't make the wrong decision um, let's try it yeah that's definitely a hot dog wrapped in pastry it's pretty good um yeah kind of does taste like a donut or a croissant Hey. <laughs> Time to head to the last stop at the Japanese American Cultural and Community Center to pick up my new pair of chopsticks, so let's go! Cultural and Community Center and you actually had to come into this beautiful Japanese garden to pick up your chopsticks and I picked out this blue pair a uh, pair that I have at home is getting worn out so I'm pretty excited to use these and that was the last stop on the tour I hope you had fun joining me on this walking tour of Little Tokyo for the delicious Little Tokyo event of 2022 and maybe you're even inspired to come here yourself next year if you like this video please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing as I'm planning on coming out with a lot more content about Southern California in the very near future I'll see you next time. Bye.